Why, hello there. Yes, this is Hearts of Iron 4 by Blood Loan. Yes, we're here again. And today we'll be looking at something else. Single player, new game. You see me play as Italy, the new and improved Italy restoring Rome. I figure today we'll try the other side of that coin and pick Italy's first adversary, Ethiopia. So this is Haile Selassie's country and he's in a bit of a pickle. How much of a pickle? Well, let's go see. We'll play on Iron Man with historical focuses on and let's go. Ah, Ethiopia. Okay, so first off, we start at war with one of the great powers of the world. Well, great air quotes. So we do have a lot more troops than we did in the base game, but they're not all great. So our templates are, yeah, like the irregulars here, irregular infantry, they are better in terms of their template, but their stats still not good. And you can see, we don't have all of the equipment we need. We're actually starting the game off with an equipment deficit of about 2,500 guns, which is not great. So we'll make guns. Yeah, we have two military factories and no steel. So we'll need to figure out how to fix that. That's okay, I'll build more stuff. Ah, no. We have two civilian factories of which we need one just for consumer goods and we'll need the other to buy steel. So let's just uh, trade steel. I think I'll trade with the Germans. I have, a, I have a plan, trust me. People of Ethiopia, the Italian invaders have crossed into our lands once more. Their machines of war threaten not just our lives, but our very way of life. I call for all able-bodied men to prepare to resist the invaders. Enlisted will serve to prepare you for battle using the link below to receive three days of premium time and several orders for troops and weapons for optimal training. With its strong focus on historical authenticity and dynamic gameplay, you will always be in the middle of the action. The best place to learn. Enlisted is available on PC, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5, as well as PS4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. There is no purchase necessary. Simply follow the link to download and play for free. As you can tell, Gaijin has offered to help pay my mortgage this month by sponsoring today's video. And all they ask is I talk about Enlisted, their World War II multiplayer shooter. They'll even throw in a bonus for you when you sign up using my link below. And considering the game is free on pretty much every modern Xbox and PlayStation, not to mention PC, that's not a bad deal. Gunning down your foes with a trusty MG42 is always a favorite pastime for me, and I'm sure you'll appreciate it too. Game's got realistic weapon and vehicle models and leans pretty well into squad games Gameplay, so bring friends or make some really quickly. Now check out the game using my link below and go get your three days of premium time and other goodies. Help out yourself and feed my family. Now on to the video. What Ethiopia does have going for it now is this brand spanking new focus tree. We'll go from left to right. On the left, the military branch, the first Haile Selassie military economy, sorry, academy. And this just gives you a couple of bonuses to the Navy, to the Air Force and the infantry or well, the army in the middle, where you need to choose between expanding the Mahal Sefari, which basically means you want a more centralized army and government and you will focus on real, regular, professional troops, or you keep the chitet. This is the Ethiopian system of waging war. Volunteers, irregular infantry raised by local warlords. So this is where you need to make that choice. Then we can develop Shewa. Not only does this give us a couple of decision, but it leads into the industry branch. It does look decent. Then we have a special branch here, the second Italo-Ethiopian war. This is just to give you a couple of bonuses while the war is ongoing to give you a chance to counterattack with a new offensive or to really dig in by using fallback. And then we have the expansive political tree. On the right, we have a military communism. The military seizes power and establishes a communist dictatorship, which can either be Soviet style communism or more anarchism, bit like the um, anarchists in the Spanish Civil War. Then down the center here, we can go fascist and reach out to the Italians, where we essentially sell out the country as one of the warlords. Not my ideal path. And then we have rally around the emperor, the monarchist path where the emperor can either stay and fight or leave on a train to Europe to bring support to his cause. And that triggers the League of Nations. We'll be trying to keep Ethiopia, keep the emperor, and go down here, the king of kings, lord of lords, elect of God, and then try and restore the empire of Aksum. 
giving us the option to become the god of the Rastafari, which is Mimi, or the one true heir of Solomon. But first things first, we need to win this war. So I'm going to go for this bonus. This gives us a bit of war support, a bit of orc regain, defense against Italy, and a bunch of manpower. I think we'll take that. Like our research speed is terrible. So as you can see, Ethiopia, not the best. No. Let's organize the military. What I usually do is split the irregulars off from the main infantry body and uh, I'll use the irregulars to the south. I have found that this is reasonably defensible. So these three provinces and I'll try to make an orderly retreat to those positions. I will give ground but not too much and to the north the same here. We'll need to give ground but not too much. I'll hold on to Gondar and the province below Makal and then we'll need a few reserves here. I'll take one of the infantry divisions i'll take one of the irregular divisions and about four divisions in reserve and i'll put them here on desi that leaves us with eight divisions for the top two tiles that should be relatively stable hopefully now what's going to happen is this here the sultanate of ausa they are currently in nobody's faction they're non-aligned they're not involved in the war at all they're a bit of an autonomous region in reality italy is going to put pressure on them and they will cave as a result our flank will collapse and our front with italy becomes massive that is why i'm putting these three divisions here in reserve so i can instantly respond to that by either marching into the desert here or to have defensive troops ready on Desi and move two units into the capital of Ausa, which is also a mountain tile, and I can defend that. Trust me, you'll see, you'll see. To the south here, I have nine divisions, oh, three units per tile, all on hills, and I put the Italians against the desert with their backs, so I think we'll be good there. We have a lot of generals. So we're going to need to pick people who are defensive-minded. This guy... Yeah, good. A hill fighter for the south, because this is all hills where I'm positioning myself. Except for the mountain tile, but it should be okay. I could fall back to these hills. Might be a little cleaner. Uh, downside is these hills can be attacked from two sides. I can always fall back. Yeah, I'll try that. And to the north here, we'll just make Imru Haile Selassie our general. So with that done, I think we can unpause and it's going to be very, very spicy. It's going to be important that we make this retreat orderly. The Italians are going to come knocking and we want to withdraw to our chosen positions in good order. Dear Lord, I need so many more guns. And now we need to manage these defensive lines. And what I mean by manage is look at combat. Whenever you see a bubble turn red or become really low, uh, see if there's any units in the battle that have low organization. If they do, pull them out of the battle and have them being reinforced by a unit from a nearby tile that is not in combat. And you basically constantly cycle the units. You pretty much have to. Um, we will get no meaningful entrenchment because of the traditional warfare debuff. So it's going to be a tough one. But once you win this battle, you have one the war we're fighting under red air which is not helpful we don't really have that many options and of course supply is not great either um there is only a supply up in Addis ababa and diridawa there's nothing to the north here i would have liked holding aksum but there's just nothing there another neat little feature is the balance of power for ethiopia if you go non-aligned or you stick with the usual path, there is a balance of power between the Mesafint, decentralized government, and Mekwanint, centralized control of the government. Personally, I want to go centralized. It makes our armies a little less great, but it's so much better for our industry. But for now, we cannot afford that. We need the army bonuses. So I'll stick with Mesafint influence. And of course, if I see a free unit like here, I'll take it. For 10 political power, we get an irregular infantry. And the balance of power moves a little to the decentralized. There we go. The Sultanate of Aushad submits to Italian demands. Italy has just annexed that. Got an entire country for free. Okay, in that case, we'll have to redraw our front lines. I'll just move with an actual front line now. And half these units can move into Aousa and the other two can stay here. But there's no point in trying to hold that desert. You won't be able to. You'll get pushed back anyway. So I'd rather take Aousa. It's the victory point for the region and I can control the region that way. The south is going to be a bit touch and go until we can really dig our heels in. Ah, another wonderful feature of Ethiopia. So we've captured Afar. There is a military factory here, which we have control over. Why? Afar is a core state. We immediately get all of its resources, etc. Because we have an extra military factory, 
we now have to put another civilian factory towards consumer goods. I hate the way this is calculated. As a result, I get an extra military factory, but I can't trade for the steel required to make the guns. <sighs> As if my position was not precarious enough as it is. We're gonna keep this going for as long as we can now. We'll wear the Italians down, hopefully, until we are ready for a counterattack. This country really is in a bit of a pickle. And personally, I'm just gonna constantly cycle units between the combats just to make sure there's always organization. That's the important part. Just keep your units in the fight. Cycle the combat so you don't get pushed back. I'm going to go for this side as well as mercenaries and lessons of war. But first, I think I want to rally around the emperor and get the emperor's stays. Uh, this gives me a field marshal and this gives me more political power, some stability, some war support. As you can see, our stability is terrible. We need to fix that. So they're all in deserts, hills, etc. And much more defensible this way. Okay. And here. Yeah, like I said, just constantly cycle units in and out of combat when you see red bubbles. So far, so good. We can hold this position for a while. I think I need to get some political power along with focuses so I can start expanding my military high command. I want the infantry specialist. I also need to go to a war economy so I can actually do stuff with my few factories. This is not an easy start. It's not something you won't be able to overcome. Certainly not, but it's not easy. I like it. I really do. Bit of a challenge. Also, uh, we get nice little things like the uh, local road development. We get free infrastructure in all of our states, at least the ones that we control for 25 political power. That is virtually a no brainer, but I need my PP now <laughs> to get a military high command first. And we can also influence the balance of power here using these. Oh, I'm already looking forward to the strikes that are no doubt coming my way. So I'm cycling the combat here. I took the unit with the lowest organization. I'm moving it down one tile. And meanwhile, I'm maneuvering a different unit into the combat so that is what i mean by cycling combat just to keep things moving and i'm pretty much going to do this non-stop this is me for the next year in game i think just constantly cycling units in and out of battles it's actually quite fun though this is a, a bit of a nail biter but it's quite fun meanwhile we have this mechanic also working in our favor the second italo ethiopian war and the war escalation it's not as valuable if you stick around as the emperor because these war escalation levels have various results the first two do nothing and from then on you will see bonuses to ethiopia penalties to italy and uh, unlocks for the league of nations mechanic obviously we want this to go as high as possible to strengthen ourselves and to weaken italy and for for that purpose, we need to stay alive every set amount of days. Every six months, war escalation automatically goes up by one. And two, we need to hold on because Italy will get certain events that will increase their war escalation automatically. I think it's when they do their Christmas offensive or something. Uh, they, the AI will always pick the option that gives them more attack but also increases the war escalation. And two, they get missions by Mussolini to capture the south and capture the north of Ethiopia. Meanwhile, we get missions to hold the south and the north. If we can hold, we get more war escalation. If we don't, we lose war support. So we're going to dig in our heels and hold. All right, rally around the emperor and the emperor stays. And with the emperor, we now have a field marshal, if I'm not mistaken, Haile Selassie. I think this needs a little bit of work because he's currently an imprisoned emperor. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's see what we can give him in terms of, in terms of trade. Mm, max entrenchment might be a good option, but I don't want to spend command power right now because I can also get the infantry specialist. 10% division defense, 5% attack. This is a no-brainer. We need every little edge we can get. I like Haile Selassie's outfit, though, as a field marshal. He's just wearing a cowboy hat. Now, AI Italy is not going to commit their full army. They're going to try and limit themselves to... I think it's about 25 regular divisions and then all of their irregulars. So we should have at least a chance of surviving. I don't like this, though. Um... <laughs> Our gun stockpile is only going down and I can't make any quick enough. Don't worry, when Steiner starts his counterattack, everything will be all right. Now, the reason I want to trade with Germany, by the way, is because it's the only person I won't have to fight. I need to fight Italy early game, but if I can push them out of here, I can use my focus tree here, fait accompli, to take all of their stuff in the Horn of Africa. And I would have everything here and to expand 
expand my nation, either through Ja or the one true heir of Solomon and the Empire of Aksum, I would need territory that is entirely in the hands of the Allies. And our best friend in that case would be Mr. Schmittler, because Mr. Schmittler understands our needs. Still, for now, Axis very much our enemy. Speaking of enemies and friends, I'm going to send an improved relations request to Mongolia. Why? Well, I need guns, and ironically, Mongolia and Tanutuva are the easiest early game source of guns. Stalin would be willing to send us guns if we improve relations, he just doesn't have any. He has a deficit of about 30 or 40,000 guns at game start, and it's gonna take until like 1939 for that to get resolved. So, Mongolia it is. At least our defensive lines are more or less stable. Well, I wouldn't call it stable, but they are stable enough. Like the north, these guys are really weak because they're constantly attacking into mountains, but conversely, I would also have to be attacking into mountains to get back out. I don't think I'll do that. I'll, I'll try and fiddle around here when I do have a bit of an upper hand, but the south here, the south has options. I'm thinking an encirclement of the center and then push for the ports. The south is also where my better units are. These are my irregulars and they are the better template. And if I can use them to good effect, I can clean up the south and then consolidate my army up north to do a big push against the Italian lines. War escalation has gone up. Great, free political power. And we can use that political power to go to war economy. That will allow me to trade because I think I get a factory back and I'll trade with Germany. Great, so at least I'll be making some guns again. All right, so Italy ran out, it's uh, Italian offensives, and we held. War escalations up to level five already. Cool, 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 cool. We're hurting Italy, we're certainly hurting Italy. And they lost a massive attack bonus against us now, so we're good for now. We are still locked out of our industry because we need to control all of our states. And I could do the military branch, but all it gives us is bonus to the Air Force we don't have, to the Navy we don't have. Now, I want to go Mehal Safari and build a regular army. I can't do that unless I've disbanded Chichitet, which I can't do unless I'm at peace and disband those troops. So we're kind of stuck here. So I want to get rid of the Chitet here. I want to get rid of these units. They're good, but I want an actual army that I have more control over. We'll turn Ethiopia into a modern nation capable of standing on its own two feet with a standing army, a strong industry and a glorious leader. And he already has a glorious title. Now we've got to make a choice here as well. This will give us bonuses to a couple of our generals. And it will also give us bonuses to the irregulars. And the downside is it moves the balance of power 10% towards the Mesafint. And I don't want to go that way. I want to centralize and modernize my country. On the other hand, learning from the enemy gives us a little bit of factory output, which I like. It also moves the balance of power a little bit, which I like. Gives us bonuses to light tanks and medium aircraft, which is pretty worthless considering our industry. I think I'll just go with learning from the enemy. I, I want to overextend the Italians because I have an idea for a counterattack. I want to push from the north down into this tile and from the south down into this tile and then create an encirclement from the, uh, through the middle. Oh, and the AI is woken up, so they're hitting me with force attacks now, which means I need to maneuver fresh troops into position. Overall, though, nothing we can't handle. And should worse come to worse and you feel you're about to be pushed back, just hit last stand. It's going to be expensive, but it's going to be worth it. Ooh, I also have a bunch of political power. I'll start with this guy. More factory output and less consumer goods. I think that is a good choice. Right, moving the reserves in and we're holding once again. I need the... F oh, why did I lose another 5% stability? Where's my stability going? All right, locals complain. Can we get stability out of this? Yes. Uh, ah, it moves the balance of power in a way I don't want it to. I'm going to take the hit to stability and use the political power to get my stability up through improved worker conditions, I think. As long as the military holds... Look at the losses Italy has sustained in the north. I think I should be counterattacking, actually. I should probably launch my counterattack soon before they are able to really reinforce this again. But I think they'll, they'll keep bleeding themselves unless I deploy more troops. So I'll grab the volunteers and their guns. And then I'm going to move over to renewed offensive, either northern or uh, desert push. Get mercenaries for more troops. Oh man, the Italians are just bleeding themselves to death trying to push through my mountain line. It's not gonna work, Mussolini. You're sending your boys to die. 
Come on, I need those guns. I need those Mausers. All right, Belgium, Britain, and France have supported me with guns. Great, I'll remember that. Now we move on to a new defensive. I can do fait accompli when we've recovered all of our territory. What this does is send Italy a peace deal. And if they agree, we get to keep everything we've taken. It's going to be either a counterattack to the south first, um, because they are... Well, my stronger units are south, or a counterattack north, which I'm leaning towards now, actually, considering like, just how weak Italy's units in the north are. They've been bleeding. I can leave them to just constantly attack me in the north while I make my maneuver to the south. That is my thinking. I could be wrong, but that is what I'm thinking right now. Oh, my deficit is almost gone. Good. My units are actually almost fully equipped. All right, we have victory in the desert, so nice bonuses. I'm going to use those, and now I get either mercenaries or lessons of war. I think I want lessons of war first, and I'll go grab the mercenaries. And now we attack to the south. The Italians are weakened here, but my army is just not that good. We'll see what we can do. All right, so far so good. Launch a pinning attack here, pinning attack there. If I can link up, eh, many things are possible. All right, we're working towards our first encirclement. Can we make it though? Can we make it? Uh, Italy is funneling more troops in there. Come on, make it happen. Make it happen. Come on, ah, oh, yes. First encirclement of the campaign. Ethiopia has struck back. Now destroy, it's not big, but it's something. All right, the north is still stable, so I'm going to focus my entire counterattack on the south. I can make things happen in the south now. Counterattack going well so far. Oh, before I forget, I was improving relations with Mongolia. I completely forgot about them. Yeah, we should be asking for land lease here, but mm, apparently Mongolia doesn't know about any infantry and artillery equipment. Probably because I just finished researching better guns. That Sometimes it just happens. If we can take the port here, we'll at least have a little bit of supply and I will need to build a railway to plug it in. Of course, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have any civilian factories to do the building. Looks like we're about to take the southern port away from the Italians. And then I'm going to swing north and clean up the rest of Somaliland. And I just have to focus my efforts on cleaning up the north. Good. This is actually going much better than I had anticipated. North still secured. I'm also starting a small counterattack there. South, we've pretty much cleaned it up. It's just going to be a matter of pushing them into the ocean. Supply is my Achilles heel here. Still, these are pretty stupid Italian casualties compared to ours. Before I forget, um, I need to redeploy troops to actually guard the ports. I just saw that there's a naval invasion warning here. Uh, Italy is not going to go down without a fight. They will probably launch the occasional naval invasion. I don't want to allow that. All right, mercenaries is done. And that pretty much ends the Italo-Ethiopian war tree. I could get last stand, but I'd need to be in the process of surrendering, um, which we're not. So political branch still locked. I need fait accompli, but that means I need to control all of my original states. Not going to happen just yet. So école militaire, I'll se la première. Okay, then. And these extra volunteers can go south because there is quite a bit of Italian pressure here. I'm going to push them into their last little port. Oh, it feels good to get to this point. I think I'll be able to um, force them to die here. And when that goes, I'm diverting everything to the north and we're going on a little campaign there. Drive them into the sea and Ethiopia will be significantly safer. And the north here is solid as a rock. Nothing happening. Perfect. Oh, I'm going to need to divert a lot of troops to holding this. Oh, yes. Just in time to uh, just push them out of the port. Now direct everything, everything to making sure that we don't lose. Just make sure I don't lose this port again. I'm willing to actually hit last stand here just so I don't lose the port. I don't want to lose this port. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to hit last stand again. Um, sure, one more. My units should be arriving in time to hold the port. Oh, that's a lot of strength damage I took. But I'm killing a lot of Italians as well, so it's okay. I'll make sure to leave a significant amount of guards for my ports, and then I'm throwing everything else I have to the north. Alright, and this gives us a army spirit. Well, academy spirit. So this one we get for free through this focus. We can focus on attack. We can focus on defense, or we can focus on army experience, meticulous planning, choices. I'm gonna go with extra attack. Right now, we must attack. I want to replace my irregulars with actual soldiers. I, I'm not gonna go this way. I think I'll just go with the University of Addis Ababa and, and go down here. Ah, and with that, we have secured the south. And I'll leave... A significant garrison behind three units there three units on this one. Oh, that's two units everybody else I'm redirecting to the north for our counter attack Still this isn't too bad uh, August 37. I've managed to clear the south at least a lot of good It's gonna do me considering all the infantry equipment. I'll need to bleed into that. Oh God the resistance is horrific as well. Oh, this is gonna suck so much all right, Ethiopian army counterattacking, and it's going swimmingly. We're going to try and push towards the Italian port. If we can manage that, we have them by the balls. We're just going to launch an all-out offensive now. We are we're in it to win it at this point. I'm going to try and force peace on my terms through this focus fait accompli. This is going to be expensive, but we're going to roll the dice. We're going to throw all our remaining strength towards the north. I'm leaving these guys in reserve for the south. You never know if the Italians launch another stupid naval invasion, but I'm going to peel the reserves down to a minimum. I'm going to keep pinning them a little bit while I maneuver around here, though. I'm going to make use of the fact that they're very much being stupid. Come on, Italy, break. Break under the pressure. Because if you don't, I will. I'm 5,000 guns short already. Oh, this is a nightmare. Okay, I just need the port. I just need the port. If I can force them out of there. Got them by the balls. Pin, pin, pin. Attack the port. Just force your way in there. Come on, guys. Come on. No, no. They're gonna throw. Oh, treasonous bastards. You're gonna cost me the war, aren't you? I've got nothing. I'm gonna try uh, scavenging tactics. It's entirely possible that I don't understand what this does and it might just give us a flat capture modifier so we can actually take italian guns i could be entirely wrong i don't know we'll figure it out we'll figure it out as long as they don't naval invade me to the south i will eventually win i think oh dear lord italy you're pushing so much it's my own damn country and i have no supply up here it's so stupid mm, everybody has an insufficient stockpile of guns annoying Except for El Salvador, but they won't be able to get their guns to me. No, I don't have enough convoys to do it. Oh, well, meanwhile, we'll try and keep the pressure up. Just need to stop them funneling fresh troops in. If I can stop them funneling more troops in, I can actually do something. Ah, I'm gonna get my relations with Germany up. Ironically, they might be able to give me some guns now. <laughs> I'm gonna keep looking around to see if anyone else wants to give me some. Okay, the Soviets might also be able to give me guns now. All right, Germany, let's request a lend lease of guns, please. No, I need more no, more opinion. More opinion. Come on, more opinion. What will you send me? Oh, yes, 1,800 guns. Meanwhile, Papa Stalin, what do you got? All right, 700 guns. Okay, that's a good amount of guns coming my way. Oh, thank God. War escalation. This is good. Enemy desertions. We'll get more guns because the Italians start deserting. And a little bit more manpower. Okay, okay. So it can go up two more times, but I think we'll have it by then. Uh, the guns from the deserters, along with whatever we're getting from the Soviets and the Germans, should be enough to see us through this. All right, big moment. Counterattack the port. Push, 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 push. All out assault along the line. Come on, boys, this is it. This is it. Make it happen. Make it happen. I think we've got it. I think we've got the port. Yes! We've taken the port, and with that, we control the state. I'm gonna drive them into the ocean, finish that focus, and hopefully, Italy will be willing to see reason. Oh, I've got the entire Italian army encircled now, and I'm going to destroy every single unit. Every single 
unit. The payout feels very good. All right, state-owned industry. And we'll move towards... Where was I? Fait accompli. And there goes the last of the Italian army. We control everything. And my armies will now be dedicated solely to guarding the coastline. And we've won the war. We've essentially won the war. There's no way for me to get to Italy now. But till World War II kicks off, I think we're fine here. What I do hope is that they will actually, you know, give me the peace deal I need. And if they do, I'm actually going to try and buddy up with the Germans as much as I possibly can. I want to piggyback off the Axis. Ooh, I also have a couple of factories now. Uh, it's very much in our favor that we start plugging things into the railway network, so I don't need to do any trade via sea. It's done. Benito Mussolini has accepted our demands, called off the aggression, and he's essentially ceded all of that land. Eritrea, Somaliland, and Jubaland, along with Afar, are now ours, and we are at peace. It's done. I want King of Kings, but not now. I have other priorities. I need to do this one. Expand the Mehal Safari, get rid of the Chitet with vol and replace it with volunteer only. It's going to be a bit bumpy, but it will be worth it in the long run. And to do that, I need to disband the Chitet. After seven days, those units are going to be disbanded and I can take another focus. So I'll waste seven days because I'm terrible at math. All right, I cannot get this one. Uh, I need to centralize my country first, so that was my bad. Uh, easiest way to do that is take the right focuses, whatever moves the power towards the Mequanint. So this one, and yeah, I might as well get the King of Kings stuff. All my manpower is gone, meanwhile, because I'm demobilizing all of it. There we go, the King of Kings. Ooh, that's a cool portrait. And every one of these we do, we move the balance of power a little more towards centralization, which is what I'm going for. I should probably start hiring some design companies, etc. I've gone up to free trade. Yeah, I just really need to get my country in gear because it's already March of 39. And I will need to face off against the allies. Fortunately, I am going to be facing off against, well, the, the rejects of the allies. This being Africa, they don't really commit to the area. But um, I still want to get something out of this run. And this one's cool, Ja, where you essentially proclaim yourself as god of the Rastafari. Gives you a couple of decisions and events to request Jamaica, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Haiti. A bunch of claims as well. This is cool, but so meme -y, and I don't think we can actually get this done. And the world is at war. I just hope the French are still willing to sell their land. We'll see soon enough. If they don't, eh, I'll take it. Hey, the French have sold Djibouti. That's a good deal. That is a good deal. All right, this will allow me to get rid of the Chitet, which is uh, something I desperately want. It's going to make my armies a little weaker as well, but eh, at least I have control over the division templates and I can make as many of them as I want. All right, Mehal Safari expanded. That means the Chitet is gone. We're down to volunteer only. Let's go up the limited inscription right away and we'll definitely need extensive uh, before the day is done course can't do that need to be war we'll figure it out okay so in my quest to improve my country before i can join this war i found this focus develop the horn of africa i want these decisions because i'm swimming in political power that i can't use anyway this will allow me to improve my country hopefully and it gives me a decision to form the horn of africa probably giving me cores in the region and once i have the horn, I'll use that as a jumping off point to then go for Aksum. And when I have Aksum, maybe I'll go for Ja? Maybe? Or not? We'll see. One of these two. I'll flip a coin over it. All right, this is March of 1941. Unfortunately, most of the focus in the industry and army branch takes 70 days. Building up Ethiopia from scratch is a nightmare. It will take forever. I can't wait for it. I'm up to six. Yes, you heard that. A full six military factories and a full four civilian factories. So this country is booming, I'll tell you what. But I do have 24 divisions ready to face the British. Another 13 ready to stamp out British Somaliland. Once I've done that, I have uh, the option to get a core on the Horn of Africa. It's going to give me some manpower and I'll use that to keep pushing. This could be a giant, giant mistake I'm making. I'd rather make it now instead of uh, an hour from now. It's already been a very long game. I'm going to hop in on this war and we'll do what we can. No guarantees of victory, but uh, 
We're gonna try and make Haile Selassie here proud. Wow, this Albania is, um... Wow, <laughs> that's a big Albania. I can restore the Empire of Aksum if I take Yemen. I think I can take Yemen if I can just get there. I can probably take Yemen. And meanwhile, I, I'm gonna do it for the meme, because you have to. I'm gonna do a jar. I will become the god of the Rastafari. Maybe the US will sign over Jamaica to me before I declare war. Maybe Cuba, the Dominican and Haiti will submit to me. And meanwhile, I'm probably gonna work up the courage to naval invade Yemen. I actually, I don't actually have a fleet to get to Yemen though. Oh, that's a pickle. That's qu quite, quite the pickle. Um, I'm gonna wait for this, for Ja, and then I'm gonna go to war with the US. Or the UK. The UK. Come on, I want to see if this thing works. If it does, it will be so funny. Okay, Ja. This man is now the god of the Rastafari. <laughs> and the US. Yes, they've given me Jamaica. I have the Rastafari. I have Jamaica. Ah, oh, the Dominican doesn't want to join. Haiti doesn't want to join. And Cuba doesn't want to join. So I could use Jamaica now as a jumping off point to start doing some really stupid stuff. I'd rather not. So maybe just release them as a puppet so I don't have to deal with it. Sorry, boys. And we're going to go to war with the allies. I don't think we're going to win this, but we'll try having some fun along the way. You go on the offensive? Oh, dear Lord. We're not going on the offensive. I thought I had a chance. I don't think I have a chance. Oh, I don't think I have a chance at all. There's a lot more British here than I thought they had. All right, Germany wants me in their faction. I'm more than willing to join. I'm also no longer able to trade for any resources now. Um, everything would have to go via convoy. I don't have convoys. Why is this going to... <clears throat> Italy has a claim on British Somaliland. And now the land's going to Italy. I hate Italy. With a burning passion. Well, I may hate Italy, but it seems to be okay. I can still unite the Horn of Africa. Is this a visual bug? I don't know. Italy has a claim and seems to have some occupation here, but I took enough territory to give me control of the region. So I'm just going to click this button right now and unify the Horn of Africa. That should give me... Ah, yes, that should give me a core here. Just to be safe, I'll let the British walk out of Berbera again. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll come, come in and slap him down once again. The UK has committed a lot of troops to fighting me. While I really think they have other priorities they should be um, focused on. So I I don't suspect any immediate naval landing. So we'll, we'll have to bank on that. Everyone must now <laughs> reinforce the front because I am crumbling. <laughs> They're just pushing us everywhere. I don't have the equipment to keep this going. I don't have the industry to keep this going. I don't have the production to keep this going. Mostly because one, there's no steel here. And two, I am completely isolated from anyone else in my faction. And it's not possible for me to get lend lease. It's not possible for me to get trade. Italy is getting shat on as usual in North Africa. So no help coming from the north. Germany has so far still failed to deal with Greece even, so feels like the Axis AI is not really doing what it's supposed to. It, it sort of stopped being fun the moment we won against Italy. The buildup that follows is too slow, period. It's just too slow. Everything in the industry branch as well as the military branch is 70 days. Not only that, but you cannot start the industry branch until you've retaken every single one of your cores, which I'll be honest, difficult, very difficult. So you spend your time in the political tree. Realistically, you're not going to be able to take on the UK because to fight the UK is to fight the allies. That means fighting the French who don't matter, but mostly the UK and its billions of puppets as well as the USA. And you are the player. They will focus on you. They have a land border with you while they don't really have any with Germany. So they will focus hard on you and you will not be able to do anything. So I think I'm going to call it here. It's June 1943. The Axis is losing on pretty much all fronts. Uh, Italy is about to go tits up. We have pushed out significantly considering the army we have at our disposal. But uh, there are no more reserves. I am... 
short so many guns and other equipment it's not even funny anymore i cannot push any further and the ai has woken up and is starting to push down from egypt so i think this is game over for me i think i did okay i managed to get all of my cores except for socotra that little island there i would handle things differently in a second playthrough if you want to see me try this or the other paths again for ethiopia like this video and at 4,000 likes, we're going to give this another go. And of course, a massive thank you to Gaijin and Enlisted for sponsoring this video and helping me keep the lights on. Don't forget to check out the game using my link down below. Personally, I recommend you play this, but it may need a little bit of a touch up. Um, I have had a bit of a rant here, but there are too many 70 day focuses, not enough significant rewards for Ethiopia. Uh, the formable nations are cool, but the amount of conquests required to do them, while not massive, is still a little too much for a country that has nothing. No resources, no industry, no, no sizable army, and you have to fight the allies. Fighting the allies is always a nightmare, so if you want to try this, please do let me know how you did, or let me know how you would have done things differently. Meanwhile, check out this next video, I'm sure you'll love it. See ya.